What's up, you two? Welcome to New Parenting Training. So today, we got two sets of indoor basketball uh, set to review. And one is for age six and up, the other one is for age three and up. And this one actually came with a scoreboard, digital scoreboard. So yeah, uh, follow along. And also, if you are interested in this product, check out the link in the description below. This company also has a 30% off on your first time purchase. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's start off with the basketball hoop that has no scoreboard. So this one, once you open it up, you will have a another box that contain all the accessories. So you have the hoop itself, all the parts and tools. They provide you with three basketball too and a instruction. In the tools and accessory bags, you will find screws, brackets, and net. So they actually provide you with all the necessary tools to set this up. You don't need to have your own screwdriver or wrench. They provide you with all those tools. Now here's the air pump. The tip is actually on the back. So you need to take it out and screw to the front of the air pump. That's how you start pumping. And now you need to put the net onto the hoop itself. It will take you a couple tries, but uh, it shouldn't be that difficult. Once you know how to put one side on, then the rest should be relatively easy. There's a layer of film on top of the board itself. So make sure you take that off before you put on the hoop. Now let's put the hoop onto the board itself. You need to use the three screws and nut provided. Just make sure the screw is sitting flush against the hoop and the board itself. Otherwise, you're not gonna have an even setup once you try to screw the nut on. So now you need to put the bracket onto the board itself. It requires Phillips head screws and they actually provide you with a screwdriver for the assembly. If you don't have a screwdriver at home, then that's perfectly fine. And that's it. The assembly for the one without the digital board is really simple. Now moving on to the one with the scoreboard. Once you open up the box, everything is tucked inside the container and pull off the board. This board also has films on top of it, the front and the back. So you need to peel that off. Now, however, this one is a little bit tricky to pull it off because uh, the, the way that the bracket is already set up on top of some portion of the film. So you are not going to be able to pull everything off like I did uh, with the other board. If you are a bit OCD with things, this is gonna drive you nuts. I try to peel off the film as much as I could. The still portion of the film gets stuck in between the bracket and the board. And there you have a black hoop and the digital scoreboard, pump, tools, net, and instruction. And you have cushions, which you have to put on the back of the board after everything is set up. And they also provide you with three balls. To set this up, you need to put the digital scoreboard on the back. There's a slot that you can push it in. And also there are two holes where you need to put in the screws. Now, once you are done screw that in, move to the front. There's a slot where you can put the hoop onto. It's really simple to push it in. And now you need to put on the net. The net has a direction. The black part need to be on top. The red be on the bottom. Now use the provider screws to screw in the bracket. Make sure that the bracket is set up on the back side of the board, not on the front. So unlike the other basketball board where the cushion is already on there, this one you actually have to place the cushion on the back of the board yourself. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is peel back the sticker. It already has the double side tape on the back. So you just put it on, on the side of the board as shown on the video. Lastly, what you need to do is to install the batteries for the scoreboard. On the back of the digital scoreboard, you need to unscrew the screw. 
to put in the batteries. It required three AAA batteries. Once that's done, uh, everything is set. The digital scoreboard has two buttons. One is on and off, the other one is reset. So once you turn it on, the amount of score it can go up to is 99. Once you reach over that amount, it will go down to zero and then restart again. Now at any point where you want to reset the score, just press the reset button. It will go back down to zero. All right, so here are the boards side by side. The one with the orange hoop, that one is the one without the digital scoring. Uh, the one with the black hoop, that one does. The orange one is much bigger in terms of size compared to the black one. However, interesting enough, the hoop itself, the black one is actually bigger than the orange one. Now, as far as for the cushion on the back, the black one has thicker cushion on the back. So once you place onto a door frame, it tend to be more straight and not tilted as much. Now, aside from that, uh, yeah, this thing is, is really fun to play with. <laughs> you can set it up any way you want to. Uh, you can put it onto the door frame where I guess most of people would do that uh, If you at work, you can put it on a cubicle for us our kid is much shorter So I want to place somewhere that he can actually reach places such as uh, the kitchen helper is a stool where we just put on the side and it's easy for him to reach so he can shoot around also the gate by the stair we can set the board on there as well so you can play yeah pretty much anywhere that you can hang this thing you can start playing and the ball themselves uh, holds air pretty well so we've been playing for a few days now um, i think i had to pump once or twice but i mean they do provide you with the hand pump so just keep that handy um, I, yeah you will need to be using the hand pump a lot uh, to pump up the air but not on a daily basis so the ball itself is quite bouncy definitely good enough for a toddler to play one of the downside for this board is that uh, the hook once you put on top of the door frame depending on how your door is set up you might not be able to close all the way so that's a bummer aside from that this hoop is really fun my kid and i spend a lot of time playing it especially nowadays we get stuck inside quite a bit and this is very entertaining for him uh, this is new and you can set this up in different area for your toddler to play and also for adults i mean i was able to enjoy it myself as well so not just for kids to play uh, for adults it's fun too so you can set this up in your office in your cubicle so you and your co-worker can shoot around hoops in your spare time as well so anyway if you have any questions comment down below until next time bye